Dave is doing well. The progress is there. We just need to work on the control positions. He's a little bit lazy with the down. We had a few issues last week where he was just starting to creep ahead of Anthony. So we've slowed the pace down a fraction, just making sure that we've got that focus on where the toy is. But the focus is very nice. You can see now he's, uh, he's looking up really well to Anthony. That's better. We just need to make sure that sits a little bit straighter. If we don't actually correct the sit now, then he'll think that's acceptable for him where he needs to be positioned. And if you saw the way he was positioned against Anthony, he was, his backside was a little, bit, uh, a little bit away from him. We need to make sure that he's in line with Anthony and close to his side. The difference from last time is quite significant. He's actually doing obedience off lead now, which is really good progress. We started back with the ball dropper jacket again, just to get that focus on Ray. Whilst Brody had good obedience, we just wanted to have a lot more focus. So introducing the ball dropper jacket seems to have worked. So we're now on week four and we've able to do the obedience off lead now. And we're just putting in more the control positions, the sit, the stand and the down, which are all coming along quite nicely for this stage of the course. We've had a few issues with Fade and how he actually works. Same as his person searching, whereas once he's got in his head that he's out searching, he kind of, not ignores Anthony, but he just wants to go off and do his own thing. There's a set of keys on the, the top. So there you go, there's one article. Good. So what I've said to Anthony is he needs to make himself a little bit more mobile, let the dog have a good run, but also when he calls the dog, the dog needs to come back. So he's able to redirect him into a different area. Let's see what happens with this one, because this one's up high. We've only just started introducing higher articles. So what you'll find is the way he's actually searching, there's a lot of nose on the ground, so he just needs to, it's almost like an education thing with getting used to, it's not always on the ground, it's going to, there are going to be some up high. But you'll find the indication will still be the same, it'll be that stand over and looking up at it. There we go, oh, 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 look at that. Thank you very much. That well, was very nice. We introduced Brody to property at the end of week two. We had a few issues with him picking up the article. So we had him on a long line, working on making sure he didn't pick it up. All the last week, we had some really good results with it. We're on week four of the course, so he's only been doing this exercise for two weeks. As soon as he gets his nose down. Okay, so far side, there's a set of keys on the, the tarmac area. So there's an article, not quite as, about there, there you go. So as soon as he gets his nose on, rail will click. Because at the moment, once we've got a nice freeze, what we need is that dog just to, that's it, good. Eventually what will happen is we'll get to a stage where he'll come in, find the article and all he'll do is look at it. He won't keep looking for that. Oh, wait, what am I doing? What do I need to do? If I was an instructor looking at that now, I'd license him on that standard. He's, uh, he's working extremely well. He's using his nose and he's not leaving the article. He's standing over and freezing. <laughs> 